So forward grips on featureless rifles. This is probably one of the main questions I get, and I get asked this all the time, whether or not an individual can have a specific forward grip on their featureless rifle, whether it's legal, what does California law say about it? So this video should cover and answer a lot of those questions. So real quick before we jump this video, I just wanna mention I am a licensed and practicing attorney in the state of California, but I am not your attorney. These are just some things that I consider when I decide to put certain grips or forward grips on my rifles, specifically when they are to be featureless rifles. Also, I wanna thank one of the main supporters of the channel, USCCA. USCCA provides carry insurance for law-abiding citizens like me and you. So if you've ever considered picking up some sort of carry insurance, I always recommend USCCA. So I'll pin a link in the comments to their website as well as put a link to their website in the details. So real quick as background, California Penal Code 3605 makes it illegal for an individual to possess what is considered an assault weapon in the state of California. Now assault weapon is a very specific definition and it is encodified in California statutory code. And one of these sections is California Penal Code 3515 and this contains the language and a lot of the language that we're going to be discussing in this video. In this penal code, it makes it so that any uh, semi-automatic centerfire rifle that does not have a fixed magazine, meaning that if it has a detachable magazine and any of the expressly claimed um, offending features, this statute makes that specific rifle an assault weapon. So what this has led to is people configuring their rifles in specific ways so that they do not have any of the offending features. For example, some of the offending features are uh, collapsible telescoping stocks, uh, pistol grips, flash hiders, and what we're talking about specifically in this video are forward pistol grips. So forward pistol grip, what exactly is that? What does California say a forward pistol grip is? Is it an angled grip? Is it a hand stop? Is it a vertical grip? What exactly is it? So to find the definition of a forward pistol grip, you have to look at California Penal Code 4571 subsection T. And so I'll read that section for you right now. It says a forward pistol grip means a grip that allows for a pistol style grasp forward of the trigger. So that is your definition of a forward pistol grip. And that will be your guideline for determining whether a specific grip that you're gonna put on your featureless rifle is an offending feature or is not an offending feature. So you're probably thinking to yourself right now, that's good, all the legal mumbo jumbo, yada, yada, yada. I just wanna know what grips I can put on my featureless rifle and which grips I cannot put on my featureless rifle. So to answer that question, you just have to look at the code. If a grip allows you to have a pistol style grasp forward of the trigger, it is considered a pistol grip and putting it on your rifle, like this featureless rifle right here, automatically makes it an assault weapon. So for example, if we look at this BCM gunfighter grip, this in my opinion is a pistol style grip. If I were to put this grip on this rifle, in my opinion, that all of a sudden would transform this into an assault weapon under California law because it would allow me to get a pistol style grasp forward of the trigger. And it doesn't matter where I put it, as long as it is forward of the trigger, it makes it a pistol style grasp. So in my opinion, things like this BCM gunfighter grip or some of the Magpul vertical grips, things like that, generally any vertical grip you wanna stay away from. Contrary to this, in my opinion, things like this BCM hand stop are not a pistol grip and do not fall under that specific language that we talked about in the California statute. Different from this BCM grip right here, I can't really get a pistol style grasp on that because that's not really what it does. I barely have two fingers on this that kind of would give me a grasp, but that's not really a pistol style grasp. And the whole express name of this BCM is it's a hand stop. So it's not even necessarily a grip, but it's claimed to be a hand stop. So I think you're safer with putting something like this on your featureless grip because it does not give you that pistol style grasp, which is conceived of in the California language. Now there's some other grips on the market like Magpul hand stops or Magpul uh, angled grips. In my opinion, those also will not fall under the definition of a pistol style grip. But keep in mind, just because you have an angled grip on here does not necessarily mean that if you are arrested or maybe even charged with possessing an assault weapon. But also, I don't want you to just assume that because you have a hand stop or an angled grip on your rifle that the police that stop you or um, the DOJ or someone whoever comes busting down your door, if heaven forbid that ever happened to you, don't just automatically assume that you're safe because you have a hand stop on here. As we've seen multiple times here in the state of California, 
We've seen people get arrested for having things on their rifles, for possessing magazines that they are lawfully allowed to possess. We've seen a lot of things happen here in this state. But in my opinion, you should be safe with having a hand stop like this on your featureless rifle or having an angled grip on your featureless rifle. Part of this also is you need to make sure the rest of your rifle is also compliant, that it has all the featureless features on it. So for example, I have a muzzle brake on this specific rifle. I have a fin grip that does not allow me to get a pistol style grasp. Um, it's right here on the actual pistol. I cannot have a pistol grip. I also do not have a collapsible or telescoping stock. I have a fixed stock on this rifle. So it kind of defeats the purpose if you're going to put an angled grip and think that you're a compliance, you have to have all the other compliant features also on your featureless rifle. So I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of questions about, well, what about this grip? What about this grip? Just consider that if it's in a hand stop, you're probably safe. If it is an angled grip, you're probably safe. If it is a vertical grip though, or if it's any grip that allows you to get a pistol style grasp forward of the trigger, that's a no-go. Do not put that on your rifle. So hopefully that cleared up a lot of your guys' questions about what type of forward grips can you put on your featureless rifles. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comment section below and I'll try to answer this to the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and you'd like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to join the Patreon and I'll put a link in the details to the Patreon page. Also using the various affiliate links also really helps the channel. Currently I'm working with one of my local friends to develop what I think is going to be a great solution for some of these featureless rifle issues. And all I am using to develop this product and put it out to you guys is going to be the money I get from Patreon and the money I make from these videos, which isn't a whole lot, but I'm just going to take all of that, put it towards product development, product design and manufacture so that I can get a California solution out to all of you guys to give back to all of you who have shown me support like over this last year, it's been amazing. We're already over 20,000 uh, followers, subscribers. We get hundreds of thousands of views every month and I can't thank you guys enough. And so for me, this is just one way that I'm going to do that is take all the money that I'm going to be getting from the channel, from the Patreon and develop something that I really think will benefit you guys. And so just keep an eye out and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on anything regarding that. So as always, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and never forget, this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.